Hey everyone at Good Day Columbia right now. We're here with Senator Marlon Kempson. He does work in the State House, but he is a native here of Charleston, South Carolina. We just have a few questions for you. You being from the area, of course, is passionate to you. Everyone that lives here, very proud. How do you feel? What was your initial reaction? Well, let me just uh, state that I'm not from here. I'm You're from Columbia, okay. but I am the state senator uh, of the district where the shooting occurred. Um, there is really a feeling of disbelief, a feeling of despair and hopelessness. Uh, one could never imagine that an individual would go in a church and shoot nine people to death. Um, this, in, 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 this is unprecedented. Uh, and what we must do is pull together as a community and I applaud the efforts of law enforcement who've already obtained video uh, of the shooter. Uh, I encourage all of the community members or anybody uh, in the nation who has information about the suspect because you got to remember the suspect is still at large so there's a still and still poses a significant threat to this Charleston community. So what are your plans today? I know that you're a state leader. How have you been actively involved in this since this broke last night? Well, most of us in the legislature were in Columbia for session. Uh, I got a call about 9.30 p.m. from Elliot Summey, the chair of county council, and uh, he suggested I get to Charleston in a hurry. Uh, he began to give me more information and I packed and rushed to uh, the uh, Consolidated Emergency Services Center and that's where all the 911 calls and I listened as uh, community members called to voice their concern but also provide information uh, to the extent possible. Uh, that command center was staffed. Uh, they have videos uh, of all of downtown Charleston and they were working with the command center downtown. Uh, so when, it, when the coast was clear, uh, when the authorities uh, confirmed that I could in fact go downtown because uh, there was a bomb threat, the shooter had been in contact with the police. Uh, and so they were trying to locate him at the time. When the coast was clear with respect to the bomb threat, I then came down to the uh, command center downtown and met with SLED uh, members of the North Charleston and City of Charleston Police and I was briefed on uh, the facts uh, that they knew at the time. Do you have a relationship with anyone that was involved or any of the victims? Well, Senator Pinckney. Uh, Senator Pinckney was the moral compass of the Senate. He was a close friend. He was an advisor and offered wise counsel to all of the senators and house members uh, when we would be at an impasse uh, for major pieces of legislation it was Senator Pinckney who would speak to his colleagues uh, and and most often quote biblical references and it would just reignite the debate and focus us more on achieving uh, meaningful legislation and he's going to be dearly missed this state Okay, and I know you have done a lot of interviews this morning. I can see you're definitely passionate about this. Very close friend to you. What's one question that someone has not asked you yet that you want people in the Midlands to know? Well, uh, you know, I think that we got to keep in mind that this could happen in any community. Uh, we have to ask ourselves, what are we doing? And what will we do after this event? We really, really need to get tough on guns in America and in the state of South Carolina. And uh, I can tell you this, as a state legislator, I will be closely following uh, and uh, reviewing legislation to file in this aftermath. Thank you so much for your time, Senator Marlon Kemps. And once again, Good Day Columbia has live coverage here in the location where there was a press conference. We will continue to keep you updated with the latest. Follow along with us on our website at WACH.com. Destiny, just a few moments ago, you had a chance to interview a senator from that area.
Yes, that is right. I interviewed Senator Marlon Kemp's, and I mean, if you were able to watch it, you could see that his interview was truly telling and emotional. He got teary-eyed. You can just feel the emotion here. He says that he had a close relationship with the pastor of this church where this mass shooting has happened, and he wanted me to tell people that, you know, although this is a tough leader that we lost, he's determined not only to get justice, but to make sure that, or hope that this doesn't happen again. I also spoke with a pastor here in Charleston. His name is Thomas Dixon. One thing that stood out that he said is, it's tough when we lose a leader. From my understanding, the pastor, he was involved in the law, and he was also the pastor at the church. But they said a lot of times he intertwined the two. When he saw things getting out of hand in legislature, he would combine his faith, encouraging people with their Christianity and their faith. And basically everyone that I've talked to and interviewed here, they feel passionately about him. They say that they've truly lost a loved one. And a lot of times when we're out here live reporting, you guys can't see everything that we're doing. This is tough for everyone out here. Here. I was passing a woman. She was grabbing her friend, just patting her on the back as they were weeping because this doesn't affect just Charleston. This doesn't affect just the Midlands. It affects South Carolina, the nation, and our world. And, of course, Watch Fox is trying our hardest to keep you updated with the most updated information. Actually, Ryan and I are going to be heading soon to a church at noon where they'll be having a prayer vigil. Now, a lot of leaders will be gathered there. We'll be sure to get you interviews. Just make sure that you stay updated on our website at WACH.com. You can follow me at Watch Destiny. I'm reporting live in downtown Charleston. Destiny Chance, Watch Fox News.